GOP representatives Thomas Massey and Lauren Boebert triggered an uproar after posting e-Christmas cards showing their respective families in front of the Christmas tree armed to the teeth with rifles. Massey posted his photo less than a week after a school shooting in Michigan that left four children dead and seven injured, captioning it, P.S. Santa, please bring ammo. Despite the backlash, Massey told conservative radio host Todd Starnes, quote, I'm never going to delete that picture. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez had some choice words for Boebert yesterday, who followed Massey's picture with her own. AOC tweeted, tell me again where Christ said, use the commemoration of my birth to flex violent weapons for personal political gain. All the years Republicans spent on cultural hysteria of society, quote, erasing Christmas and its meaning when they're doing that fine all on their own. Team Rising is here with their reactions. Nabila Islam is a political strategist and former congressional candidate in Georgia. Liz Wolf is an associate editor at Reason. Welcome to you both. Yeah, thanks for having us. Of course. Thanks. Yeah, Liz, I'll start with you. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, these both of these pictures, I, I mean, I think Massey came first. Bobert's coming second. She's copying him. It's less original. Um, the Massey picture really caused an uproar. I do think there was sort of an element of bad timing after a major school shooting. Uh, but I also feel like I saw a political playbook refer point blank to that, and no pun intended, that, but they referred to that photo as, quote, disturbing. Um, and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, in a huge swath of the rest of the country, that wouldn't be disturbing to people. People would actually be like, that's kind of awesome. Um, and so I know that Ryan and Nabil probably will disagree strongly, and maybe Liz, you do too. Um, I just don't think that picture is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I think we need to look at it in a few different ways. Um, one, Ocasio-Cortez's point that this is, you know, irrelevant to Christmas is true. But I mean, this is the time of the year where we, you know, send people Christmas cards. I'm in favor of making the entire practice illegal. It's all completely <laughs> absurd. Um, but I think with this specifically, I mean, Massey's family lives entirely off the grid. Um, they, I expect, use these weapons for, for hunting and for self-defense because they live further away from, you know, the police station. Uh, this is something that is not a foreign uh, thing for most people in lots and lots of parts of America. And I think it's perfectly fine for the Massey family to celebrate their rights. I mean, think about it this way. I, I consider this to be a symbolic and an aesthetic, uh, you know, expression of, of our rights and a celebration of our rights. After Colorado legalized weed a few years ago, I went there, I took pictures of myself vaping and I posted them on Instagram. <laughs> that was me as a libertarian celebrating my right to do something, my right to change my body and mind, uh, which was newly made legal by the government. And it's perfectly fine for, for other people to celebrate their second amendment rights and really uh, you know, spend some time reveling in the fact that they have the freedom to do so. There were activists taking abortion pills on the steps of the Supreme Court pro-abortion activists last week. So, I, I mean, I think it's kind of going in both directions. I don't know. It, it, it all just feels so empty, Nabil. I mean, his, his quote, uh, I will never delete that picture, you know, feels like such a complete kind of degeneration of the kind of American spirit. You know, if you start with, you know, give me liberty or give me death, and you finish with, I will never delete that picture. <laughs> Like that, that is now the thing that, like, I, that, that defines us, that, that defines our character. Our social media post shall never be removed. Like, is, is that all there is? Like, what are the politics that this is supposed to represent? Well, it's completely ridiculous and it's extreme. And the fact that he says, you know, I'm never gonna delete this, he's doubling down. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, would Republicans be, you know, having Christmas cards with guns and, uh, and sharing them on social media? I don't think so. I think the party has become more and more extreme and has gone more and more to the right. And uh, now this is expressing the values of the Republican Party. And now you see, you know, Warren Bo Boebert trying to outdo him. Um, it's kind of like, I don't understand what they're trying to do with this messaging. And it's very empty and it's incendiary. And especially after a high school mass shooting, um, it was very tone deaf and hurtful to a lot of folks. And I thought it was completely unnecessary. And I'm curious, by the way, so you, you ran for Congress in a, in a district that is a combination of suburban and rural. And how, how if, if your opponent had done something like this, just from a, a raw, crass political perspective, how do you feel like that would have uh, played out in a, in a congressional race that is this combination, in a district that's a combination of rural and suburban? It's a good question. So 
the district I live in is in uh, Metro Atlanta. I think if someone had done something like that, it it would have had mixed reviews. Um, it, it, I I just feel like the area that I live, folks aren't as uh, you know the their supporters aren't as similar as, as the ones that are supporting uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, I would like to think so. Uh, we're not as polarized, but I I think that um, it. Republicans are still saying, you know, extreme things in order to get shock value. So, especially in primaries, um, they're trying to, you know, differentiate themselves into who's more conservative. And being more conservative nowadays just means who sounds and does crazy antics in order to get, uh, you know, click, you know, uh, social media attention. So Liz, I think uh, the, so when we live in a climate where the left is very openly um, and honestly saying we want to curtail um, gun rights in this country, we do want to make serious policy changes. Um, Massey then is reacting to that by sort of celebrating what he does have and something that absolutely was intended uh, to be a sort of tongue in cheek and sort of push buttons of people who want to make sure that his kids uh, uh, don't have weapons like they had in those pictures. Um, and so I guess I think there's, and I'm curious for your take on this, a, an important distinction between somebody like Thomas Massey and somebody like Lauren Bo somebody like Lauren Boebert. Thomas Massey's been in Congress for a while now and has an, actually a very, very, um, a very long anti-establishment record, whether it's the AUMF, um, whether it's, I mean, really, you can just go down the line. He's a legitimate anti-establishment libertarian person. So in that context of Thomas Massey, how do you see Boebert's reaction um, with a sort of copying that picture on her own? Well, I think Boebert is absolutely, you know, like my co-panelist is describing, absolutely somebody who's sort of driving the, you know, conservatives a little bit further left or further right. Um, you know, she's really embracing this sort of far right thing. Uh, and Massey isn't somebody who's, who's done that by and large. He's somebody with pretty significant libertarian leanings. Uh, he's pretty comfortable splitting with the party on a whole bunch of different issues. I would also just mention that it is important that we, when having this discussion, really distinguish between you know the fact that sometimes lawful, committed gun owners who you know have embraced their Second Amendment rights for many, many years, sometimes they're some of the best allies in terms of creating a more sensible and safer gun culture. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience of going to a shooting range and perhaps somebody there is doing something stupid. And you know what? That stuff gets stamped out incredibly quickly by much yeah. more experienced gun owners who just are not messing around with this and take this incredibly seriously. I see the Massey family, and I don't know them personally, but I see them as probably more aligned with that type of thing. Probably, you know, I mean, we saw young children holding guns in both of these pictures, so I can imagine, you know, people who are less comfortable with this very much had their hackles raised. But I would take a moment to consider, like, perhaps the Massey family has been teaching their young children the appropriate way to handle guns, and perhaps there are huge stickers for gun safety uh, in a way that many of us who are less experienced with guns would not be. And Nabila, on a, on a scale of like one to 10, like how, how much do you think the goal of Boebert's entire shtick here was to just get a reaction from, from the left? And how much of it is to shore up support kind of on, on the right? And, to, and you know, because you know, she's been called out by her conference in the House for being, being a distraction and, and, and people are nervous that, you know, that she's going a little bit too far. Is this, is this just to trigger the left, though? Um, I think on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 10. She's, I mean, she's someone that's constantly done things for shock value. Um, she wants the attention, and I'm sure that she's you know, translating that into fundraising for her uh, congressional race. Uh, and look, if, if the messaging was, let's talk about gun safety, you know, I believe in the Second Amendment, fine. But, you know, th that's not what's happening here. It's completely... Uh, purely for shock value and uh, it's you know if you can see what she's done in the past uh, she has a restaurant called Shooter's Grill and uh, where it's centered around guns uh, I remember during the pandemic where we're still in the pandemic but early in the pandemic when she had that zoom background where she just haphazardly had like a sh you know machine guns behind her she's constantly done things uh, in order to get shock value, and so I think that you know this wasn't something that she was doing to uh, contribute meaningful conversation. Uh, it was something that she did for uh, you know attention as a pride for attention. 
all just so empty, just an expression of the emptiness of our politics and our life nowadays. So perfect representative <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> Liz and Nabila, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. And we will have more Rising right after this.